Behold, the Lord will come, descending with splendor to visit his people with peace. And he will bestow on them eternal life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. Today's Mass is being offered for Brian Bolio. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May your grace, almighty God, always go before us and follow after so that we who await with heartfelt desire the coming of your only begotten Son may receive your help both now and in the life to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, observe what is right, do what is just, for my salvation is about to come, my justice about to be revealed. Blessed is the man who does this, the son of man who holds to it, who keeps the Sabbath free from profanation, and his hand for my evil doing. Let not the foreigner say, when we would join himself to the Lord, the Lord will surely exclude me from his people. The foreigners who join themselves to the Lord, ministering to him, loving the name of the Lord, and becoming his servants, all who keep the Sabbath free from profanation, and hold to my covenant. Them I will bring to my holy mountain and make joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. Thus says the Lord God, who gathers the dispersed of Israel. Others will I gather to him beside those already gathered. The word of the Lord. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among all nations, your salvation. God, let all the nations. Praise. 
May the nations be glad and exult, because you rule the peoples in equity, the nations on the earth you guide. God, may all the nations praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit. God, our God, has blessed us. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. God, may all the nations praise you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come, Lord, bring us your peace that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, You sent emissaries to John, and he testified. To the truth. I do not accept testimony from a human being, but I say this so that you may be saved. John was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works that I perform, testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We know that the prophet Isaiah told us that we would have a Messiah and that he would be born of a virgin. So we know that. And he also told us that we would have a church that would become universal. We hear that in the first reading today when it talks about the foreigners who become a part of the Lord's people on his holy mountain, who are joined to him and whose sacrifice he accepts. So we know Isaiah's prophecy about the Messiah being born of the virgin, that that happened. That came to pass in the first Christmas when the Virgin Mary gave birth to Jesus. And this other prediction, this other prophecy from Isaiah about the church being universal, how do we see that satisfied? 
Has it been satisfied yet? We do see that happening now among us. We are the church. And we have fulfilled that prophecy. Let us pray. For the month, Hope's Monthly Intention, we pray that volunteer, nonprofit organizations committed to human development find people dedicated to the common good and ceaselessly seek out new paths to international cooperation. We pray to the Lord. For Bishop Sean, that he will rejoice at the rite of acceptance with all those who are preparing for full communion this year, especially Charles and Jerry. We pray to the Lord. For our soldiers and all essential workers who serve during the holidays, we pray to the Lord. For all who are sick and in distress in any way, especially those listed in the bulletin, we pray to the Lord. For those who have died, especially for Brian Bolio, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Almighty and ever-living God, we pray to you with confidence as we acknowledge our weakness and unite our prayers to the prayers of St. Jude, St. Joseph, and especially with the perfect prayer of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. 
the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the is now forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. We await a savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will change our mortal bodies to conform with his glorified body. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth, and hold firm to the things of heaven. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.